I'm gonna show you the best settings in Lofty for Google Ads. I've used these settings to generate $14.3 million in GCI opportunities, as well as most importantly, turn that into $2.95 million in actually closed transactions. So let's jump right into it. Number one is the domain name that you use for your website. So the domain name I use here is searchonlinelistings.ca. You could use .com. It's very generic by, uh, it's totally intentional. If you look at what a lot of people use is they'll use Corey Prince or johnsmith.com or the powerfulteam.com or something like that. And honestly, when somebody's looking on Google and they're just wanting to find listings, they don't care about you, they don't care about me, they're just looking for listings. So the more generic you can have it, the better. And I totally get it if you wanna use something that's like branded on your team name or something like that. My first real estate website was coreyprince.ca and coreyprince.com, which is my first and last name, so I get it. I'm just saying from a cost per lead and cost to acquire a customer perspective, this is much more effective and this is much less expensive. So that's point number one. Uh, setting number two is going to be the pop-up trigger rule. So how many listings are we gonna allow the uh, particular customer to see or how, many, how much time are we gonna allow them to be on that listing page before we make them sign up? So I've been doing this for 15 years. I've talked to many, many team owners, many, many real estate companies and over millions of leads generated, the highest converting setting is on one listing view. So in Lofty, the way you do that is you go into settings, pop up trigger, and you just click highest conversion. Then what you do is you scroll to where it says questionnaire settings, and you turn these off automatically. So you'll see right here, there's a couple different options for a buyer questionnaire and a seller questionnaire. What will happen is if you have this on right here, it'll pop up right after registration. And even though they put their information and in, it creates more friction of things they have to do before they actually get to do the thing they want, which is view the listing. So turn these off. Uh, you can ask these questions on the phone. They will cause some people just to not continue and never come back to the website, even though they already created an account just because it's a bit too much friction. So that's the second point on uh, the pop-up trigger listing. You can do that setting site-wide here in Lofty. You can also do it on landing pages. So on landing pages, you go into marketing in Lofty, then click landing pages, find the landing page that you want, click action edit right here, or you can create a landing page, of course. Then once you're in the landing page, you go over to the settings on the left-hand side, and then you click on basic info and you scroll down a little bit to where it says registration, trigger registration on listing detail pages, so that's what we want. How to trigger is trigger registration based on page views, and then we want one. So this will make it so anybody that registers on this particular landing page will, as soon as they click a listing, they'll have to create an account. This is what you want, I promise you. So the third setting, which is absolutely crucial to get the highest conversion possible, is the disclaimer. So after they click the listing and it pops up and they have to put their information in, there's what we call a disclaimer. If you look at the normal boilerplate disclaimer that pretty much everybody has with Lofty, it says this. By checking this box, I agree by electronic signature to one, the electronic disclosure consent, two, receive recurring marketing communication from or on behalf of seller variable, including auto diet calls, text and pre-recorded messages, consent not required to make a purchase, data rates may apply, reply stop to opt out of text or help for help, and three, the terms of service and privacy policy of this website. I understand that I can and then has a phone number implied uh, that'll be uh, merged in there to obtain direct assistance. So this is written by Lofty's lawyers. I've actually communicated with Lofty about this and they just wanna keep it as is. They're not interested in changing it. And what it does is it actually reduces the percentage of people that are gonna be willing to sign up because it's pretty wordy. The reason they put it in there is because there was a new regulation released in America called TCPA compliance, which is totally important, it's something you need to adhere to, but it doesn't have to sound just like this to be compliant. So what I recommend doing is using a disclaimer like this. So I agree to the terms and uh, terms of service and privacy policy of this website, and then when they click terms of service and privacy policy, it has all of that boilerplate language that makes it compliant. So I've been split testing this compared to having the other disclaimer and having this disclaimer. This disclaimer converts at three times the rate. Same traffic, three times the number of leads, 
meaning your leads cost one third of the price if you have the other disclaimer. Really, really, really crucial. So if you'd like to learn more about this, I've got a Google Ad School. The link is in the description. I've got a whole masterclass on there that I teach how to run Google Ads for your real estate business. I've been doing it for 15 years since 2010, and I've generated over 90,000 leads at an average cost of $1.11. If you'd like to do the same, click the link, leave a comment, be happy to see you in there. Take care.